Hello viewers and welcome back to Let's Play The Catacomb. Uh, we are picking up exactly where we left off, which was back at level 1. Um, so we're just going to head straight back into the castle um, and make our way back down. We hadn't got particularly far in before we went to that secret level, so um, we won't, won't take too long to get back to where we were. Um, what's interesting, theoretically, due to the the fact that you can go backwards through the game, it does mean that the the potential for high scores in this game is theoretically quite unlimited, uh, because you could you could there's no reason you couldn't you know, go and do that secret level multiple times, um, and just rack up an insane high score. I'm not sure if the the score caps out at any point. I've never felt particularly motivated to test that and see, but we will be doing something along those lines, not to pick up points, but to pick up more potions and scrolls at a key point in the game, um, so we'll, we'll come to that when we get to that part, but yeah, in the meantime, we'll just continue making our way through the castle as we are, so we'll once again just take out these goblins, uh, and grab some treasure and potions and there's a scroll as well. First few levels are pretty simple, so do there we go. Uh, and we're back in this place, so watch out for the guys that are running around randomly here. There's usually someone over here and up here. There's also usually someone over at this side. Oh, careful, careful. So, shoot our way through here. And once again, we'll just pick up the key from in here. And we'll go around all these doors and grab the potions, because we do use quite a lot of potions. We're already using quite a lot of potions here and there. Um, as long as we're picking up more than we're using, that's the main thing. So, we'll continue. Just go around here, grab this, kill this guy for no particular reason. Uh, use well, grab the potions in there. And finally, the last room. So this should take us pretty much back to where we were, which was level four. Um, lots of skeletons here. This time, rather than going to the secret level, we will be going to the next level. Um, however, however, uh, we will want to go back up there because there's a nice big stash of potions and stuff up there as well that we're going to want to uh, we're going to want to pick those up again. Because every time you every time you come back into a level, everything's basically set back up from scratch. So all the all the pickups, all the potions, all the scrolls, they'll be back what they were. I think there was something up here, wasn't there? Yeah, there we go. Um, so that portal will take us to the next level. We'll come back to that in just a second. But first of all, we will go over here and grab this stuff. And there's a whole pile of potions just before that door as well. So uh, we will go back up there and grab them, making sure this time not to go through that portal. Um, as we're going to be going through the normal portal this time. If we go to the secret level again, we will continue to not make progress through the game, which isn't really beneficial. Oh, there's another secret bit here with another couple of potions in it. Nice. Anything else? Doesn't look like it. It's a nice treasure here. There we go. And not going through that way this time. We don't want to go back to the bad place. We want to go to the less bad place, which is this way. Level 5. Uh, now, I'll quickly save again here. Lair of the Unholy Experiments. 
quotas to 50, 70 and 90. Uh, there, those levels don't actually exist as far as I know and there's no way to actually get to those portals. Um, probably for the best. There seems to be no way out of here. But that's obviously a secret passage somewhere, isn't it? Where is the secret passage is the question. It is somewhere. It's there. There we go. Do, 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 do. We have a rather large area opening up here. Yeah, it's, it gives you a, a one block sized path through, but not one big enough that you can actually get through. Uh, right, so there's a whole bit over there. There's also a bit down here. Does this take us anywhere? This. Oh, yikes, this opens up the entire level. These big dudes again. We will be seeing more of the, the bigger enemies as we go through the game. Um, It's a bit like, it's al almost a sort of um, preclusion to the, the it's, it's something that commonly happened in games like Doom. Um, you would get to a point where the, look, look at the first the first Doom game, the first the boss of the first episode, the Barons of Hell, um, they started cropping up as regular enemies all over the place from there on. And then even, you know, in the hard, harder difficulty settings, you'd start getting random cyber demons and just bosses showing up as regular enemies from times during the game. Um, and remember a lot of the a lot of the guys that worked on Doom also were responsible for this game. Um, so yeah that was two ways to get to the same portal there. Uh, but we'll just put it through. So that's, oh yikes, whoa, it's almost dead, let's just use a new, yipes, secrets of the pyramids, uh, I'm going to save the game, um, secrets of the pyramids, so this is level 6, there's skeletons everywhere, uh, they're annoying, a lot of the pyramids do contain secrets, which is nice. of these guys and they're being annoying. Right, so most of these pyramids seem to have some kind of secrets in them, perhaps not all of them. It's also never completely clear whether the secrets are at the top of the bottom of the pyramids. Is there any more in this one? This is quite a big pyramid. It doesn't seem to be. Uh, okay, and what about here? Yeah, there's stuff in there. Oh, we missed a health potion. Right, we'll grab that. We will be... Uh, right, we need a key. So I imagine one of these pyramids is going to contain a key. That would probably be the likely. Um, Yeeps! It's stuck there. Yeah, you don't want to get stuck. Uh, <laughs> the not so great pyramid and the great pyramid. It doesn't appear like there would be anything in the here. If you text on them, they probably would have way in. Uh, there's some scrolls here. We still haven't found this key. Uh, I don't know where it might be. There's some health potions. Uh, nothing in there. This pyramid seems quite big. Yeah, it doesn't seem to have anything in it. 
unless it's hidden at a different seed. Is there anything up here? No. Uh, nothing in there. Hmm. There's a key somewhere. That much is clear. Unless. Unless. We wouldn't have done something sneaky like actually hiding some secret passage here rather than a... No, doesn't look like it. Right, somewhere there's a key. We're going to need to find this key. Oh, hello, there it is. There it is. We can now get out of here. Level 7. And we are in a box. Yes, a box with multiple paths coming out of it. Uh, it's going to get pretty noisy in this level, I think. It's quite maze-like as well. Um, oh, jeez. Wow. Right, there was a whole bunch of paths opened up there. And we are in a maze. A maze, 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 maze. This guy is not going to cause us a whole bunch of problems because we can just shoot him from here. Um, it doesn't really get us anywhere. We can go up here and grab some of these, but we're going to have to, we're going to, have to find a way uh, through this maze. I don't know how I got into this bit. This is going to be annoying, isn't it? Ooh, we can go here. Here's a key. That's going to be useful. Dead end. Here's some health potions. We'll grab those. Down here. And some more health potions. We're going to want to grab all of the health potions that we can. Some scrolls here. Some more health potions. We're going to want to go up this way. Up here, and along, and here's some more scrolls. And then we seem to have got ourselves the dead end again. Yeah, we might need to go backtracking a little bit here. Of course, it's not so easy to backtrack if you've not been paying attention to what way you've actually come. Uh, so, I'm going to have to try and find my way back here. This is the way into the bit with the ogre, which we don't want to be. This is back at the start. There must be another route here. Yeah, there we go. There's also a path there, potentially. And there is the exit. We are now at level 8. And I'll just quickly save the game again. Yeah. So, we start in a locked door, the laboratory. Fortunately, the uh, the game doesn't limit you to ten of each item. The uh, the display only shows ten, but the you can you can't carry much more than that, and it'll only start dropping down once you once you drop into the final ten. So as long as we know we always have more than ten of everything, unfortunately, it doesn't make it particularly clear how many portions we have overall. But. Uh, Here's a ogre dude. That seems to be the way out. My darlings, which is... There's a path into there. 
We possibly didn't want to do that. They're not going to be able to fit up here though. Hundreds of them. Hate, <laughs> hate, hate, hate. Yeah, the we do have a key in this room, so we don't need to go in there. Quite a bit of a beating there, but no remained. Untrustable acolytes, goblin den, and ogre storage. We could, if we wanted to, open some of these bits up. I don't know if there's any real reason to, but we can, we can shoot these guys. Um, This one, yep, there is. And what about down here? Yep, you can open that up as well. Any any secrets down here, maybe? Oh, there is. Hello. Who does this take us to? Ah. Probably an easier way to get to the key. Never mind. We will move on to level 9. And once again, we'll just quickly save the game, just in case of disasters. Right, level 9. It's another somewhat uh, randomly shaped level. But we will make our way through the winding passageway. Starting to get ogres, so we will be a little more careful here. Ogres can do quite a bit of damage to you um, if you happen to let them get up close. They're relatively easy to kill, but you do need to to charge a shot up to kill them in one shot. Otherwise, you're takes a good five or six hits to kill. But yeah, if you if one of them gets up close to you and starts actually hitting you, uh, you're in a bit of trouble if you can't take it out quickly. It can kill you rapidly. Entering level 10, we're now at a crossroads. So, the crossroads, um, we'll just quickly save the game as well. Yeah, so Crossroads. This uh, level starts the kind of next section of the game almost. There's multiple choices here. The 13 in the coven. There is 16, which is sweet 16. Heaven 17. And 11th hour. So, I notice again a couple of numbers are missing there. There's no 12. 12 we'll be seeing a bit later. Uh, there's no 14. 14 we've already been to. 14 was the, the bad place. And I'd imagine 15 was the level after the bad place. Um, and the... The secret level was 18. So we've already been to some of the, the levels um, following on from this. Um, or they're not, not actually following on from this because it doesn't go in any kind of numerical order. Um, 
at this bit. But yeah, we've got a few places to explore here, so we will pick up here from the next video and start exploring these uh, different uh, areas. In the meantime, thank you very much for watching uh, once again. Um, if you have enjoyed this, uh, give us a like, leave us some feedback in the comments, and subscribe if you want to see more of this kind of stuff. Uh, thank you once again, and I'll catch you next time. See you later.